Hey guys, welcome. My name is Lockie. And I'm Josh. And today we are going to unbox the InMotion commuter Clinal. First thing I notice is uh, the very sleek fast, which is very complimentary to the InMotion brand. Yeah, absolutely. Besides the screw that in the box, guys, you will find a little toolbox that gives you everything you need to get the screws set up. You'll get two inner tubes and the air adapter to go with and the power adapter. Okay, so in the toolbox, you'll find um, one kit for assembling the kickstands with an Allen key to kickstand and um, some larger bolts. And then you'll find a smaller Allen key and some bolts to secure the stand. Also in the box, guys, you will have your power adapter, which we have just here. That's going to come in very handy. And we also get two inner tubes, which this is the first time I have seen two inner tubes come with a scooter. Oh, it's a first. So super helpful, especially on this scooter, because you can actually change out the tubing yourself. And in motion have done it in such a good way where if you get good at it, you can do it in about 10 minutes. And last, but probably most importantly, <laughs> it, the manual. So if you have any questions, you can always refer to your manual and this is likely going to answer most of your questions. Hey, first step we've got here, guys, super simple. Take out the inner tray and the scooter. The step two, connect the wires inside the handle and the stem. Now these cords can be a little bit stiff, but persistence is what will get you there and you'll hear it pop when it goes in. Step three is as simple as folding the scooter up straight. And just remember, we don't have any screws up in here yet, so don't wobble it around because the handlebar can still come off. Step four, assemble the kickstand with the M5 hex key included in the box. So they give you a couple of little tools to go with. And then step five, you type from the four screws on the stem with the M3 hex key included in the box as well. And then you set the ride. Once you've got your scooter all set up, guys, you'll find a little QR code up the top here on the display. And if you scan that with your phone, you can get access to all the other amazing in motion features. And like most common scooters, one long hold to power up and uh, we're ready to go. Um, it'll start in drive, uh, single click will give you a light on and off, and a double click will change your modes. And then if you double click into walking mode, you'll get that flashing light. We're ready to scoot. Out of the box, guys, you don't have to condition the battery when it comes to the commuter climber. This thing is already ready to go. Yeah, and as always, never leave your battery completely discharged for an extended period of time. And if you do want to look after the life of the battery, make sure you do charge it up regularly, even if you're not using it all the time. Okay, locking self-maintenance for the in-motion commuter climber. Um, as we mentioned earlier, uh, they are very easy to change tires and they do come with the spare tubes and we'll put a link in this video uh, to show you exactly how to do that. Hey, just going on with maintenance guys, make sure on the regular that you are cleaning the scooter down just to get the dirt out of anywhere that might slow your scooter down and make sure you are pumping your tires up and tightening bolts on the regular. And um, we're talking ideally weekly, realistically, monthly. The commuter climber also comes with a 12 months manufacturer's warranty straight out of the box guys and just make sure you remember to service your scooters every six months just to keep it on the fresh side. Uh, and a reminder that Scooter Hub has 12 stores nationally. Uh, we've got a national tech team and we've got a seven day customer service team. Thanks Lockie, thanks for watching and happy scooting.